to whatever, I'm Kirsten. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I carry in my hospital bag, but my doggy bag. <clears throat> so, I'm currently sick, so bear with me with my voice, but I just wanted to show you what I carry around for him, uh, for, for Raider, for Moose, for Panda, any dog that I have, I have these on hand. So, let's just get on with this video. So, this bag right here is my dog bag. It also carries my stuff as well, just all wrapped into one. So, let's just start with the first item. It is kind of a mess, so I'm just gonna pull out random. So, the first thing is I have this little bag right here. So, in this little bag, we can start with this little bag. In this little bag, I have a couple pair ties. Um, I have some lipstick, chapstick. Uh, because I'm sick, I have some cough drops. Um, I have some deodorant. This is the secret on the go deodorant stuff. Um, I also have a lip scrub from Jeffree Star. Uh, it is the Blue Freeze lip scrub. I also have some hand lotion. This is just the uh, normal oh, Keith's working hands lotion. I actually like the skin repair one better, but I don't have a small bottle of that. I only have hands. And period stuff. Um, so yeah, I remember there's this weird thing in this bag. Okay, cool. Anyways, so I'm just gonna put this stuff right in. Oh my god, did you guys see that? That was so cool. So that's kind of what I carry in this little bag inside my big bag. So going, moving on, I carry my purse. So um, in my purse is just the bare minimal stuff. I have my wallet, which has my stuff in it. And then I also have some of these sour mint icebreaker things. And a receipt. I don't know why I have that in there. And then I'll carry my phone in here, uh, typically. So I also have a sweater for Moose. Um, Moose is my travel buddy. He goes with me pretty much everywhere I go. So he's the one I most likely will pack this bag for, but I do have some stuff that goes for all the dogs. And just because I just got Raider, I really don't have a sweater for him. But I have a sweater that Panda and Moose can wear. It was actually a Panda sweater, and then we put, when we got Moose, we put Moose in it, and we thought it was really cute in it, so we just kind of kept it and left it for Moose's. But I mean, Panda can wear it too. And then, because he is outgrowing this one, it's a little tighter on him, so it's now kind of more like a Panda sweater. We went and bought him this sweater, and it says Home Slice with pizza on it and it's really freaking it's really cute uh, he has worn it he seems to be more comfortable in it than the other one so this is his sweater um, but like I said I don't have a sweater for Raider yet uh, just because we just got him and we're still working on getting stuff for him so my next thing I have in here are these little old rays drawers um, some rawhide drumstick things. Um, they look like that. I don't know. Focus. There. It just looks like a, kind of like a chicken bone, basically. Um, it's made with real meat. Um, and they're just the little tiny ones. These are more for Moose and Panda. They will not be for Raider, but I do take Moose everywhere I go, so Moose has something to chew on. Um, two other things that are not dog related is my planner. So this is my planner. It carries all has my personal life stuff in it. What I always carry with me, along with a pen on, which is right there. So that's what I carry in this as well. So I also carry around a notebook. So a grab, a great grab items for personal stuff in it. Um. like Raider's birthday party stuff is like right there. Um, stuff like that, it's just 
if I'm thinking of something and need to write it down, I have a notebook to write it down in. So it's kind of a mix of everything as well. Um, so because it is getting cold, I usually have my, my jacket, my coat on. Um, hey, hey, no two on it. So he's shooting on something. So, um, another thing I have on me is this hat. Uh, I got this hat at, on our anniversary trip and it's super, super warm and it's just basic black and white and it says Zach Beggings Haunted Museum on it. But it has a little football and I think it's really warm and so I wear it when I get cold since we are not home. So I have two pairs of sock booties. They are more Christmas themed. Um, they have grips on them and they're for moose. Um, Panda probably fit in them. Uh, Raider obviously cannot fit in these, but these are more for moose. Uh, when we are at his, my husband's work, he gets cold easily. Come on, you need to stop growling. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are to keep his feetsies warm while we're at his uh, dad's business, their husband's business, I guess. On the realm of things that are meant for moose, hold on, we have a bone. Uh, this is just a nylon bone. Um, uh, he's supervised with this. I don't want to get too big of chunks that could do anything to him, but this keeps him entertained. Um, Mainly because real bones, he goes through like super quick. He will chew them up instantly and they don't last. So these are just a good alternative. When I don't have a real bone, that he could have this bone. Can I show this first? Here. Okay, so my last thing is a ball. It's just a purple ball. It was actually on a toy that, um, yeah, it goes all the way through. Ah, ah. So this is actually on a bone that they chewed on. It was one of Moose and Panda's favorite toys. I only had two. I got them for their birthday party, which you will see in a future video. What I'm talking about, uh, the bones, they have chewed completely small, and I had to throw away the bones. The only good part about that toy is a ball comes out of it. This ball, uh, my dogs like balls, so Panda really likes to play fetch. She is a fetch player. She likes to play constantly. She is obsessive when it comes to that. And then after we got Raider, we figured out Raider likes balls as well. So this is kind of a Raider and Panda toy. Um, Moose doesn't really care for this kind of stuff, but this is just something I have on me at all times. Uh, right now they have a calm thing that they're chewing on that they're both. Well, okay, so they didn't just get it. They uh, actually had it in a toy bin that I had. And they weren't playing with it, so eventually I just stopped giving it to them. Well, I just started going through their toys today to see if there's anything that Raider can have. Since we just got Raider, we haven't exactly got him a lot of toys. Um, he has toys that our other dogs have. But these are seeming to be his favorite, so I also purchased a Kong toy here. Can I see for a sec? So this is what I'm talking about. Ah, ah, Raider. Raider, come here. So that's what he's currently chewing on. I just took it away from him to show you guys, so that's what he wants. Uh, so I just also have this ball with me because they like to play fetch and we're trying to teach Raider how to play fetch. He understands to go get the ball, but he does not understand to bring the ball back. So I just have this on hand. I probably rambled all about toys and stuff that these dogs have, whatever. Um, another thing that I typically would carry in that this little pouch that isn't in the pouch is this Vicks Vapor Rub for Babies. Vicks Vapor Baby Rub. Um, we use it for Moose's nose gets really super dry and stuff and we've been using it to try to help with that. Uh, we, have, we don't use it all the time. Uh, it's only like once in a while. Um, I've only used it on him twice so far um, within the last two weeks. So it only gets it basically once a week, once or twice a week, and that's pretty much it. Otherwise his nose looks really good with this stuff, and this stuff works. So I have that. 
So another thing that I carry that is not dog related but I carry in this bag is a power bank. Um, I have a power bank and cord. We have two things left in this bag. Um, one of the things that I just carry around all the time is some puppy pads. These are puppy pads. So I have a couple pads, puppy pads that I carry around. So the very last thing which I think everyone should carry around and a lot of times I forget to carry around a lot um, is doggy bags. Doggy poop bags. Um, I have a roll in this bag so if my dog does poop or something I have an easy way of cleaning it up. Uh, Panda is a new nervous pooper, pooper. so uh, she poops when she gets super nervous when in new situations so I always am carrying around these. Uh, it helps when we're traveling as well. It's just a good tool to use, super easy to use to pick a poop when you're on the go and you don't have any kind of poop towel or anything that will help you clean it up. These are my go-to. So that is everything in my bag. Um, so that is everything in my puppy bag, my doggy bag, my go-to bag. I carry my stuff in it. I carry dog stuff in it. I carry, you want that? I carry Christmas stuff in it. We also, sometimes I will carry a drink in there. I'll have a bottle of soda or something, bottle of water, whatever in there. I'll also have some little bags of chips, um, some snacky items if I get hungry. Uh, I know my husband gets hungry, so I always have something for him. <laughs> um, I also carry around treats, so a little bag, um, a little sandwich bag of treats that they get. Um, like I said, I will carry a blanket as well. Since it's colder months, I'll carry a blanket just in case. That is everything in my doggy bag. And so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you carry in your doggy bag. If you have a doggy bag, um, whatever your bag is. It could be a backpack, it could be a purse, it could be anything. Just let me know what you carry. And subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on the bell notification so you're notified when we post every single Friday. Um, this is Kim Sabinover, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!